Nicole Shelton will never again be a notary, and that's probably a good thing because people like her, robo signers and the scumbag lawyers that help her and work with her, uh, they put a lot of people out of their homes and cause a lot of pain. And that happened to Lamar Gunn. And so what I do now is I make movies about scumbag lawyers who use the system to put people out of their homes uh, illegally, without standing, people like Lamar Gunn. Uh, this has been going on for quite some time. And Ms. Shelton, of course, was a notary in his case, in which case uh, this man had uh, never missed a payment, yet got put out of his house. So we hope to make history with uh, going forward in his case. And, uh, well, just like Jose Anderson made history in his case, except for the fact that the court didn't apply the law in his case, and he ended up losing his home. So uh, well, we'll see what happens with uh, Lamar Gunn's case. Uh, he's lost his home, too, but maybe, you know, there'll be some type of recompense. this happens is because we've got bought and sold politicians like Kelly Ayotte running the country. You know, look at her campaign contributors, all right? No wonder she doesn't investigate mortgage fraud in New Hampshire. In, in the largest consumer fraud history, the FRM Ponzi scam went down on her watch. And of course, through our concerted efforts, we were able to procure uh, an affidavit from the Salem Registry of Deeds in Massachusetts. Uh, there you see it there from John O'Brien. And one would think you could get that kind of assistance somewhere in uh, yeah, New Hampshire, the live free or die state, but no. As an attorney myself, uh, and someone who has been a title insurance producer and a notary, you know, I could go back to doing all those things if I chose, but right now I, I'd rather investigate these kinds of cases and bring them to the, the forefront uh, so that people can see what's really going on out here. And uh, I wish you luck, you know, all of you out there who are fighting these corrupt banks and the uh, court systems that allow it to happen. Uh, good luck.